I'm going to do another 12 gauge water jug penetration test. This time we're going to be using these 3 inch Federal Trophy Copper Sabo slugs. And I'm going to use my Mossberg 535 with a 24 inch rifled barrel. And here's a closer look at the slug before we start the test. It's advertised as a 300 grain slug at about 2,000 feet per second. So how many jugs do you guys think it's going to go through? My guess is... I think it's going to stop inside jug number five. But let's see what happens. All right, and we're going to be shooting from about 12 yards away. Here's what the trophy copper slug did. My little fence board broke in half, no surprise at all. And it looks like jug number five is fine. And we have four jugs laying on the ground. Over here is jug number one. And jug number two. So this is jug number one, completely devastated, and I'm guessing our entry was right around here, on the lower left hand side, but the whole jug is just blown apart, and there's our exit hole. And jug number two. Not quite as blown apart as the first one, but still broken open pretty good. And you can tell there's our entry hole on the lower left hand side. And the bottom's just broken open and it's split right here. And that's the extent of the damage on jug number two. And it looks like our exit must have been right here. It's weird there's not even really a hole. You can just tell something pushed through right there. Maybe the jug just cracked open from the force of the impact before the bullet passed through. I don't know. And then laying right over here by the impact site is jug number three and four. And here's jug number three. Once again, a strange entry hole. You can't even really see a hole. It's just cracked open. And this jug isn't even close to as damaged as number two. We just got a split on the side here and right there. And that must have been our exit hole. So that's all that happened in number three. There's something inside jug number four. It must be our projectile. And that must be our entrance hole. That's kind of weird. It's just a little slit. It must have just pushed its way through. So it obviously had barely any energy left at this point. There's no damage to jug number four, except this tiny little slit on the bottom. Now let's see what's inside. There's our trophy copper Sabo slug after stopping in the fourth water jug. And if we look down here, this is our little sable wad, and right here is the little metal disc that attaches to the bottom of it like this. So here's everything that was recovered. Our little metal disc, our sable wad, and our projectile. That's some pretty awesome expansion right there. By far it did the most damage to jug number one. And it did a little bit to number two, but after that it kind of was just pushing its way through. If you could reload these slugs to just a little bit higher velocity, they'd probably be super effective. So here's the slug before and after going through four water jugs. Definitely some wicked expansion. 
Let's try and measure just how much it expanded though. So right there we're getting just a little bit over one inch. So it looks like that was our maximum extent of expansion. In the little slits, the least amount of expansion, 0.74. Still quite a bit when it was 50 caliber to begin with. Now let's see how much it weighs. Before going through water jugs, 304.2 grains. After going through water jugs, 300.4 grains. So nearly 100% weight retention. So these are some pretty awesome slugs. But anyways, that's all for the Trophy Copper Sabo Slug Water Jug Penetration Test. As always, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.